grade 8 students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelito Panuncio. In this video, you will learn how to factor completely trinomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 1. So another technique in factoring quadratic trinomial where a is not equal to 1 is the grouping technique. Now, let's proceed to problem number 1. In problem number 1, we have 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. So, ano natin gawin? Kunin yung numerical coefficient ng ating a, and then, multiply natin sa c. So, we have a multiplied by c. So, ano yung a natin? We have 2. Then, multiply to our c. Ang c natin is equal to 12. So, 2 times 12, we have 24. And then, kunin din natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating b. Ang ating b is equal to 11. Yan. Next, i-factor out natin yung 24 na dapat ang sum niya ay equal to 11. Yan. So, 24, factor out natin. So, pwede siyang 24 times 1 or pwede rin siyang 12 times 2. Pwede rin siyang 8 times 3. And then, pwede rin siyang 6 times 4. Ayan, meron pa ba yung mga factor? Ay, wala na. Next, kunin natin yung sum. 24 plus 1, we have 25. Ayan, same ba sa ating B? No. So, ibig sabihin, hindi yan ang kukunin natin. Next, 12 plus 2, we have 14. Same na ba siya? Hindi. This one? 8 plus 3, we have 11. Same na ba siya? Yes. Therefore, ito ang kukunin natin. Yan. 6 plus 4 natin is equal to 10. Hindi naman siya same. Therefore, ito lang maging factors natin. Okay. Proceed tayo dito. Paano siya i-factor out using grouping technique? Yan. Copy natin. So, 2x squared. Copy lang. Plus, instead of 11x, gamitin na natin yung 8 then 3. So, parenthesis, 8x plus 3x. Ayan. So, instead of 11x, naging 8x plus 3x siya. Then, plus 12. And then next, ayan. 2x squared plus 8x plus 3x plus 12. Apply natin yung grouping technique. So, create binomial. Ayan. Ginroops natin siya. And then, it is equal now to, okay, dun sa parenthesis natin, meron siyang common monomial factor. Ano ang common monomial factor natin dito? 2x squared plus 8x. Common monomial factor, or the greatest common monomial factor, we have, ayan. ang GCF nila, we have, 2x. And then, divide natin siya. 2x squared divided by 2x. We have x plus 8x divided by 2x. We have 4. Plus, dito naman. 3x plus 12. Meron bang common monomial factor? Yes. So, 3x plus 12 ang common monomial factor ay 3. GCF. So, 3x divided by 3 is equal to x Plus, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo dito, magkapareho lang yung nasa parenthesis natin. So, yun yung tinatawag na common factor. So, kopyahin natin siya. Um, x plus 4. And then, kunin din natin factor yung nasa labas ng ating parenthesis. 2x and then 3. So, we have 2x plus Ito na yung magiging factors ng ating given problem. Okay? This one. Therefore, the factors of this given problem, 2x squared plus 11, x plus 12, are x plus 4 multiplied to 2x plus 3. Gets? So, ganun lang yung grouping technique. Now, proceed tayo sa problem number 2. Okay, so let's proceed to Problem number 
In problem number 2, we have 3x squared minus 14x plus 15. So, una natin gagawin is kunin ang numerical coefficient ng ating x squared and then i-multiply natin sa c. So, we have ac or a multiplied by c. Ang a natin is equal to 3 multiply to our c, we have 15. So, 3 times 15, we have 45. And then, syempre, kunin din natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating b. Numerical coefficient ng ating b is equal to negative 14. Therefore, hanapin natin ang factors ng 45 na dapat ang sum ay equal to negative 14. Okay? Look, positive yung ating c and then negative yung ating b. Ayan. So, kapag positive ang ating C, it's either dalawang positive or dalawang negative ang magiging factors. Since negative yun, therefore, dalawang negative ang magiging factors ng ating given. So, 45, factors na is, pwede siyang negative 45 times negative 1. Or pwede rin siyang negative 15 times negative 3. Or pwede rin siyang negative 9 times negative 5. Meron pa ba ang ibang factor? Okay, wala na. Next. Kunin natin yung sum. This one is equal to negative 45 plus negative 1. We have negative 46. Same ba siya sa ating B? No. Therefore, hindi nang kukunin natin. Next. Negative 15 plus negative 3. We have negative 18. Same din ba siya? No. Next, negative 9 plus negative 5. So, we have negative 14. Same na ba sa ating B? Yes. Therefore, ito ang ating kukunin. Okay, so solve natin. So, we have 3x squared plus, instead of four, negative 14x, ito naman ang gamitin natin. So, we have negative 9x less yan, kasi negative siya 5x so tandaan yung negative 14x natin is yan, naging negative 9x minus 5x then plus 15 okay so we have now 3x square yan, minus 9x Parenthesis plus negative 5x plus 15. Ayan. So, yun yung grouping technique natin. And then, sa loob ng parenthesis natin, meron siyang common monomial factor. Ayan, yung parenthesis natin. So, we have, ayan, anong common monomial factor natin dito? 3x squared minus 9x. DCF natin is 3x. So, divide natin. 3x squared divided by 3x, we have x minus 9x divided by 3x, we have 3. Next, negative 5x and plus 15. Ano ang common monomial factor natin? We have negative 5. Okay. And then, yan ang GCF natin, divide lang natin siya. Divide its term by the DCF. So, negative 5x divided by negative 5, we have positive x. Then, 15 divided by negative 5, we have negative 3. So, kapareh na naman to. Kopyahin lang natin. So, we have x minus 3. And then, kunin natin factors yung nasa labas na parenthesis. We have 3x, then minus yeah, minus 5. So, yun yung magiging factors natin. Okay? Ganun lang yung grouping technique natin. Okay? So, the factors of this given problem are x minus 3 multiplied to 3x minus 5. Gets? Okay. Next, proceed tayo sa problem number 3. Problem number 3. In problem number 3, we have 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. So, 
Kunin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating a, then multiply natin sa c. So, we have a, c. Ang a natin is equal to 4. Multiply to our c, we have negative 5. So, 4 multiplied by negative 5, we have negative 20. And then, kunin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating b. Ang ating b is equal to positive 8. Therefore, kukunin natin yung factors ng negative 20 na ang sum dapat ay equal to positive 8. Uh, since negative yung C natin, therefore, ang magiging factors ay isang positive and then isang negative. So, anong factors ng ating negative 20? Negative 20, so pwede siyang negative 20 times positive 1. Isang negative and then isang positive ang magiging factor natin. Pwede rin siyang negative 1 times positive 20. And another factor is pwede siyang negative 10 times positive 2. And pwede rin siyang negative 2 times 10. Okay, kunin na natin yung sum pala. So, negative 20 plus 1. We have negative 90. Yan ang sum niya. Next, negative 1 plus positive 20, we have positive 19. And then, yan, same ba siya? No. Next tayo. So, negative 10 plus positive 2. So, we have negative 8. Negative 8, same na ba sa ating B? Yan, positive 8. Are they the same? No. So, hindi pa rin yan ang magiging factors natin. Next, negative 2 plus 10, we have positive 8. Same na ba? Yes. Therefore, ito ang gagamitin natin. Okay, proceed tayo dito. So, we have 4x square plus instead of 8x, gamitin naman natin itong factors na ito. So, we have negative 2x then positive 10 then, minus 5. So, apply natin yung grouping technique. So, we have 4x square minus 2x. Close parenthesis. And then, plus, open parenthesis, 10x minus 5. Gilroops lang natin siya. And then, after grouping, kunin natin yung common monomial factor. So, we have 4x squared minus 2x. Anong common monomial factor? We have 2x. Yan yung GCF natin. Divide natin. 4x squared divided by 2x, we have 2x minus 2x divided by 2x, we have 1. Plus, and 10x minus 5. Ano ang GCF? We have 5. And then, divide natin yung GCF dito sa mga term na to. 10x divided by 5, we have 2x. Then, negative 5 divided by positive 5, we have negative 1. Okay? So, same lang din yan. So, co copyahin lang natin. So, we have 2x minus 1. And then, punin... As a factor, yung nasa labas ng parenthesis natin, yun natin siyang 2x plus 5. This one. So, 2x then plus 5. So, isa rin siya sa mga factor. So, yun na yung magiging factors ng ating given problem. Therefore, the factors of this given problem, 4x squared plus 8x minus 5 are 2x minus 1 multiplied to 2x plus 5. Yes? Okay, next. Problem number four tayo. Problem number four. In problem number four, the given is 5x squared less 18x minus 8. So, unang gagawin, kunin yung numerical coefficient na a or ng ating x squared and then i-multiply natin sa ating c. a, c or a multiply by c. Ang a natin is positive 5 multiply to our c which is negative 8. So, a 
Our 5 multiplied by negative 8, we have negative 40. Next, kunin ang numerical coefficient ng ating B. Numerical coefficient ng ating B is negative 18. So, look, ang C natin ay negative. Therefore, isang positive, isang negative na naman ang magiging factors natin. So, factors ng negative 40. So, pwede siyang negative 40 times positive 1. Ano ang sum? Negative 40 plus 1, we have negative 39. Okay, next. Pwede rin siyang negative 1 times positive 40. Is equal now to, yan. Ang sum, negative 1 plus 40, we have positive 39. Same ba siya sa ating B na negative 18? No. So, hindi pa rin yan ang magiging factors natin. Next. Pwede rin siyang negative 20 times positive 2. Yan. Punin natin ang sum, negative 20 plus 2, we have negative 18. Same na ba siya sa ating B? Negative 18, negative 18? Yes! Therefore, ito ang gagamitin natin. Okay. So, we have 5x squared plus, instead of 18x, negative 18x, gamitin natin ito. So, we have negative 20x, yeah, negative 20, then positive 2, so plus 2x. So, yung negative 18x natin naging negative 20x plus 2x minus minus 8. And then, apply natin yung grouping technique. So, we have parenthesis 5x squared minus 20x plus open parenthesis 2x minus 8. Close parenthesis. Then, kunin natin yung common monomial factor. So, 5x squared less 20x, common monomial factor niya is equal to 5x. And then, divide. 5x squared divided by 5x, we have x. And negative 20x divided by 5x, we have negative 4. And then, plus 2x minus 8. Ano ang common monomial factor? We have 2. So, 2x divided by 2, we have x. Then, negative 8 divided by positive 2, we have negative 4. Yeah. Next, so magkabareho lang ito, copy lang natin. Yan yung tatawag na common factor nila. So, x minus 4. And then, kunin natin as a factor yung nasa labas ng ating parenthesis. 5x and then positive 2. So, we have yeah, 5x plus 2. Ito na yung magiging factors natin. Therefore, the factors of this given problem, 5x squared less 18x minus 8 are x minus 4 multiplied to 5x plus 2. Okay? So that is the grouping technique in solving Quadratic trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 1. Ayan, we're done. I hope na meron na naman kayong natutunan sa video ito na inyong kinanood. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and then if you have clarification, ask your teacher. See you next time!